Hey everybody, Al2 here, 316RC, back again with you on the YouTube network. And today we're going to unbox an uh, engine I just got in for my FG Martyr. Uh, let me swing you down here real quick and let me show you um, what's been going on with the Martyr and uh, why, we, uh, why we picked up this engine. Let me show you here some of the updates I did on this to get ready for the my new engine. First thing I did was I updated the plastic aluminum I just basically beefed up this whole rear end this is a two-wheel drive truck billet wishbones replace the plastic ones billet aluminum shock tower these are called uprights on the FG aluminum so these are uh, these can get warm, so we got uh, aluminum ones in there. Got new links on the top with upgraded Heim ball joints. Also upgraded the Heim ball joints down here on these wishbones, as you can see as well. I did a special ball, can't see it because I got these boots on, but this is a ball drive system now. For the rear end so yeah this rear end uh really got beefed up oh yeah also the that is an aluminum differential housing uh brand new diff gears in there i just bought a whole aluminum diff gear kit you can see that in my uh billet upgrade video if you want to check out what part number that is you can check it out there i'm going to have a a build video out on how i put this together but yeah, the whole uh, the whole rear end's all beefed up, as you can see. Getting ready for to install the engine. Let's swing around to the front. And let me show you what I did here. Not too much here, as far as the steering. I put on aluminum uh, steering kit. I put on new links for the steering hookup and then also I know they're hard to see I don't know if you can see them in there new links with the uh, with ball end links on the servo connection push pull servo connection so yeah upgraded the steering in the front um, last thing I did was this plate this was plastic. I got this aluminum plate off RC Car Online. I got my throttle and brake servo installed. Got our steering servo installed. That's all connected and hooked up down there. I know it's hard, you can't really see in there, but uh, it's in there. And then here's my radio box. Got my kill switch, Hillitronics. Got uh, swing around here a little better. Got the uh, Futaba R203GF receiver in there. So that's all ready to go. I was just waiting uh, on this engine to complete the build. So um, we're going to get to it. Oh, one other thing. Um, I don't have it here to show you. Once I get the engine together, I'll have a video out on it. But I got a new uh, spur gear uh, clutch bell assembly. Uh, hardened steel shaft for the drive shaft so um, I'll show that when I get this engine together so anyway let's go ahead and let's uh, find out what engine I ended up deciding to upgrade for the martyr now here's the swing this over here's the engine that I tore out right here this is came on its stock G260 Zanella with a muffler on it. This comes stock. So, uh, took this engine out. There's the engine mount. I'll have to tear that out to mount for the new engine. And then the other engine mount is red there. So, this was the stock engine. So, let's uh, go ahead and get this box over here and find out what we got. Like I said, I. Uh, I decided I was just going to do this engine, you know, right out of the gate. So that's why I decided to beef up that rear end. So 
let's get this baby open and um, see what I got. Now, when it comes to the FG, without doing a ton of modifications, you're you're sort of limited in what you can do. So we got a uh, gasket kit. OBR sticker. Cat's out of the bag now. Let's get the packing out of here. Yeah, like I said, you're limited to what you can really do unless you want to make some serious modifications. Woo! All shiny. Let's get this baby out of the bag and see what we got. Alright, took me about five weeks to get this from Sean. Beautiful chrome case. Now he had to make me a special cover for the FG because there's some fitment issues. Beautiful chrome case. This is a full mod. This is a full mod. There's the OBR crankcase on there, uh, Turtle Racing. It's a full mod uh, 30.5. So this is the biggest, um, without super modifying the FG chassis, um, this is the biggest engine I can fit in. So um, it's pretty much the same footprint as your, you know, this is a Noah. 29 modded out to 30.5 so um, no real big difference uh, probably change the pool start you know I might change the pool start to uh, I got this fancy pool start this should be quite the engine for this uh, for this FG two-wheel drive we'll see it could be a wheelie monster I have different um, pinions pinions and gears um, to try out on this to see what's going to work best for it so we'll get to that when I get this all together so I'll have to pull the FG as a special clutch housing let me show you here FG as a special clutch housing you have to use see this cut out here um, so it fits their mounting bracket properly you can buy these clutch housings separately I'll be just tearing this one off this engine, and I'm probably going to put an 8K uh, clutch system in the OBR. So I'll have to tear this off and install it on the OBR because I got no clutch option at all, as you can see. You also put a, uh, they got the billet. Um, carburetor isolator on there which is kind of nice it's a nice little 30.5 full mod piston port engine so let me show you that pool start real quick that i was thinking about i got this i got this from uh fearless rc which was roven rc which is primal rc which is King Motors RC, so now it's Fearless RC. This is part number 953042. Let's just get this out once and see what this looks like. I'm thinking about putting it on this engine. Not 100% sure. We'll see. It's a beautiful billet pull start. I picked this up a while ago. Um, my buddy Jeff. Rap brother Jeff over at Eastside RC, he had these on his channel and showed them, and I'm like, hey, they're really cool. I'm gonna get me one of those. So um, they have different ones. This is this is the basic one. This is not an easy start or anything like that. This is a basic one. So I think that would look pretty cool on this engine. Yeah, I may I may put this on. We'll see. All right, well, that's what's going on with my FG Martyr. Let me know what you guys think about this 30.5 O'Neill Brothers full mod engine.
that I selected. I'll have to get my uh, brackets and stuff mounted on there. There's the infamous signature you get, OBR. Manufacturer was 316.22. 30.5 PP piston port. Awesome. Looking forward now to finishing up the martyr and getting this thing started and seeing what this little cool 1-6 scale truck can do. All right, guys, have any questions or have a comment, please drop it below in the comment section. And uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And I'll be back real soon with another video. Hey, Al2 here, 316RC. See you on the next video. So long.